A man accused of murdering a Wake County deputy is behind bars this afternoon after being officially charged this morning. Yeah, major developments today. The investigation into the case is stretching across North Carolina. Daniel Pierce joins us live now from Winston-Salem. So, Daniel, Forsyth County is more than 100 miles away from where that deputy was shot and killed, but there's a key piece of evidence linking the area to this case. Yeah, and that piece of evidence is the vehicle that is believed to have been used in uh, this case. Before we get to more about what is happening here in Forsyth County, there is a couple pieces of new information that we want to let everybody know that the Wake County District Attorney not too long ago announced that there are three people in total that they are looking in uh, connection with this case. It was announced that Alder Alfonso Marin was with Arturo Marin at the time of the traffic stop that led to the arrest. The Wake County DA says that they expect to file charges against Alder, but have have not said what exactly those charges are. They have charged Arturo Marin uh, in this case with murder. Come back, come back here to Forsyth County. It was said during a news conference today that there are several different things that are unfolding here 115 miles away from where the deputy was gunned down. That vehicle we do know was removed from here earlier today. It is now back in Wake County being processed. What we are also able to confirm is that Arturo Marin was picked up during a traffic stop in Burke County earlier this week, and I'm told that the 29-year-old suspect was transferred all the way to Alamance County Detention Center late Tuesday night. He was then extradited uh, early this morning, and that right there to give you an idea is about the halfway point between Burke and Wake Counties. Today, Wake County Sheriff Gerald Baker said that even with all this information, there is still a lot more investigation that needs to be done. A little bit more work to do, and we're, we're going to go about doing that now. We ask for your patience and making sure, please, that we may be not able to confirm some of the tips that are coming into you all, but we don't want to jeopardize or hinder our investigation. Now, Arturo Marin was in court today. He was given a capital defender, which is typically given whenever the death penalty could be on the table. It was also suggested that the 29-year-old not be given bond. Live in Winston-Salem, Daniel Pierce, Queen City News. So many moving parts there, Daniel. Thank you so much for that update.